Their storms swept through Topeka yesterday, toppling trees and knocking out power lines. A lot of damage. 13's Kyle Mathis is live at Southwest High Avenue in Topeka. He's assessing the aftermath. Kyle, what can you tell us? Cleanup efforts are continuing throughout the evening here in Topeka after a severe storm came through on Friday. Heavy winds and or heavy rain and high winds toppled many trees and sent power lines to the ground. Actually, right behind me, there's a whole tree limb uh, blocking the front of a house, completely ripped off of the foundation. And I spoke with a spokesperson today for Evergy to get more updates. Severe storms Friday knocked out power to about 240,000 Evergy customers, with Topeka customers being hit harder than others. Evergy is working hard to restore power to homes that were hardest hit. So we don't have localized estimates yet because we're still seeing what resources we can get through from other communities to help with that restoration effort. Uh, we, don't, we do know that this is going to be a multi-day event for some communities that are harder hit like Topeka. Um, so we would encourage if you, you, a family member, a friend, if you know someone who shouldn't try to wait out the power outages with the heat because of health and safety concerns, you know, be sure that you're checking on those individuals, having good communication. Power lines are still down in the city after trees and limbs were knocked on them during the storm. There are many safety concerns with the lines down and residents should keep their distance. If you see a down power line, you should assume that it's energizing. Keep your distance. We, we recommend trying to stay at least 35 feet from it so that you're not putting yourself in, ha in a hazardous space. Uh, you can report those online on our outage map. You can also, if it's in a highly trafficked area that you're concerned about, you can report it to 911. Evergy has been able to restore the power for two-thirds of the outages in Topeka. They anticipate to work multiple days in order to fix the lines in other neighborhoods. Despite the outages, though, Residents have continued to do their part in the cleanup process as over 200 vehicles came to the Garrick facility to drop off tree branches and limbs for no fee. Right now we have about 2,000 people out in the field working to restore power across our service area. We expect to add another 1,000 people today. Um, so we are calling on neighbors to help make sure that we can speed up the restoration effort and get power back to everyone. We will continue to work until everybody's power is back on. Cleanup continues here as companies come out to, to fix up trees and residents continue to pick up tree limbs and tree branches. Evergy also continues to make it a priority to fix lines and bring power back to its customers. The customers can check the Evergy outage map on its, on its website for updates throughout the evening and throughout the night. Back to you, Victoria. All right, Kyle, thanks for that update. We do appreciate it. Well,